Lady Frederick Windsor, a.k.a. Sophie Winkleman, has decided to throw some shade at Meghan Markle, and boy, it's juicier than a royal tea party. So, here's the scoop, dear readers. Lady Frederick Windsor exposed Meghan Markle in Tatler after she apparently knocked the Duchess out of the running to become the new face of Dior. Ouch, right? Talk about a fashion feud. But hold your fascinators, because there's more to this royal cat fight. Sophie Winkleman, who's married to Lord Frederick Windsor, yes, the second cousin of King Charles, in case you forgot, swooped in and snagged a sweet deal with Dior. Meghan, on the other hand, is just left pouting and desperate for a high-end fashion endorsement. A little birdie told us that Meghan was in talks with the luxury French fashion house, but alas, she lost out to Meg Bellamy, who plays Princess Kate in Netflix's The Crown. Can you believe it? The Crown strikes again. And in a shocking turn of events, Dior claims that Meghan was never even in the running. A source told The Telegraph, there's no truth to the claims that she'll partner with the French fashion house. Ouch, Meghan, that's got a sting. But wait, there's more. Lady Frederick Windsor, a.k.a. Sophie Winkleman, is now strutting her stuff as the new face of Dior. Forget Meghan, Sophie is the real deal, darling. She's not just any actress. She's a smart actress, apparently, to distinguish her from those fame-seeking, gold-digging types. She's a real-life royal, and she met her husband on a wild night out in Soho. Talk about a modern-day fairy tale. And let's not forget that she's BFFs with King Charles himself. She's so close to the royals that she appeared on the cover of Tatler wearing a Dior outfit and spilled all the royal tea. According to Sophie, the royals are funny, abundant, and super smart. Well, isn't that a shocker? Who would have thought? Sophie went on to gush about her special relationship with King Charles and his incredible work ethic. Apparently, the king works all day long, has a quick supper, and then disappears until 4 a.m. to write letters. Wow, we're truly blessed with these insights into royal life. But don't worry, Sophie didn't leave out her other royal pals. She's tight with Princess Beatrice, Princess Eugenie, Zara Tyndall, Princess Anne, and even Sarah Ferguson and Sarah Chatto. But Prince William and Princess Catherine? May, they're just too busy and don't live in London, so she doesn't see them much. Sorry, William and Catherine. Oh, and let's not forget Sophie's tragic car crash story. She broke her foot and three bones in her back, but fear not, dear readers. The king, back when he was the Prince of Wales, had his cook at Clarence House send her family meals twice a day for months. Prince William made sure his air ambulance colleague took good care of her, and Sophie even got a visit from Sophie, Countess of Wessex. Now that's some royal TLC. And here's the real kicker. Queen Elizabeth II herself allowed Sophie to use her pool at Buckingham Palace during her slow and agonizing recovery. Talk about royal hospitality. Sophie said the queen told her, we can't have that, you have to go in the water. Isn't that just heartwarming? Seems like the royal family is a lot warmer and kinder than Meghan would have us believe. So, there you have it, folks. Lady Frederick Windsor, Sophie Winkleman is the new Dior darling, and Meghan Markle is left in the fashion dust. And from what Sophie's been spilling, it looks like the royals are a real hoot to hang out with. Just ask her broken back. But hey, who are we to believe, right? Meghan, with her tales of woe, or Sophie, the true insider with all the royal connections. Grab your tiaras. It's a royal rumble. <laughs>